Good morning, everyone. I am in my bed. I decided to uh, try to get over a migraine and work at home, and I'm glad I did because there's a bunch of stuff happening in D.C. This is going on. I hate that this is going on. Hopefully it ends up not being something big like last time at the Navy Yard. So praying for all those people down there. So we came out to the farmer's market. Looks pretty crowded. I think we're gonna get some corn. It's gonna be 18 people out of our house. No. The color of these eggs. It has a Bavarian cream filling. Do you know about how much? So we got snickerdoodles, chocolate chip cookies, a blueberry turnover, and a little apple pie. And Sammy chose the lemon poppy seed donut from that donut stand. Uh oh, and it's like she has a croissant. They got frozen hot chocolate. Let me see, Sammy. What's this? Yeah, it's good. What is that? Chocolate syrup. And we have good news, all clear, at the Navy Yard. Sorry about the lighting, but I just have one thing to say about the whole thing at the Navy Yard. If you saw the video from this morning, the police response, all the different police agencies, don't come to Washington, D.C. and think you're going to fool around, because they will come down hard. Hey, everyone. I haven't been feeling well all day. As you know, I said I woke up with a migraine. And I've been feeling nauseous from having that migraine. It's almost gone, but it just it keeps dogging me. So I haven't done a lot today. Some of you might remember that my mom was living with us. Well, while we were in New Jersey last weekend, she actually finished moving out into her own condo. And we miss her a lot. It's kind of weird not having her here. So I actually uh, went and... Uh, took her dinner I, and I stopped by the store and I bought her a, a, lamp, a floor lamp because she needs more light and she I know she won't buy it because she won't want to try to carry it up be too heavy for her I would have vlogged all that but I left my phone at home charging I didn't even realize so I went to call her to make sure that she was home when we were gonna go by luckily my daughter had her phone so we were able to make that trip as some of you might know, it is Ramadan, and I've been traveling and so busy that we really haven't been celebrating it the way that we normally do. Today I did tell my husband, despite me not feeling well, that I would make sure and cook for him, and so that's what I'm doing. So in here I have some soup cooking. It's got to cook for a while. I want everything to get tender. When it's finished cooking, then I'm going to blend it, which is what we do during Ramadan and then I'm gonna I'm just gonna cook the rest of us um, are probably gonna eat something different and I'm just gonna cook him a dish for himself I'm sorry I can't seem to put two thoughts together and have them come out of my mouth what I meant to say is I'm just going to cook him something to eat only for him not I don't know what I was trying to say but unfortunately he won't get off work till 10 p.m. and I think he's supposed to break fast like at 8 20 something so that's not the 20 seconds got me, but I was going to say that's not good for him. Unfortunately, he's working, so he can't come home. He's self-employed, and when you're self-employed, you got to do what you got to do. So we will see him later. I didn't realize this migraine was affecting me this much, but I really can't seem to be able to communicate anything. So I'm going to call it here, spare you guys having to listen to my dribble from my, I don't know, I can't even communicate. So if you like this story, give it a heart and take a look at my other videos. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.